Now, I might be almost the first one um, to actually pronounce your name right, so I hope I don't get it wrong, but every time I watch the footy show or Sunday footy show or game day show, no one really tends to get it right. So, welcome Tendai Mazungu. Um, Tendai, not necessarily a fairy tale start to your AFL career. Um, it was looking very promising and then hurt yourself in a practice game um, and had a little bit of a setback, but you were able to, uh, I guess, play your first game after eight or ten weeks uh, in rehab, uh, which is a fantastic effort in itself. Um, but tell us about your first game and, and what sort of experience you got out of it. Ah, oh, yeah. Thanks for being on, having me on the show, Adam, firstly. Uh, yeah, I really uh, was pretty shocked when I first found out on the, I think it was the Thursday night at training. And um, yeah, to get told I was playing debut and it was obviously a huge thrill. And um, it was a bit, of a, a bit of a different one, I guess, coming on as the, as the sub. Um, when I came on, the game was sort of one, which, uh, which was sort of good for me in a way. I could just run around and, and uh, enjoy it a little bit more and had to take a bit of pressure off. And yeah, I could, the boys were really good. Um, embrace me into the into the group and, and uh, give me the footy as well. Um, now, I don't particularly like rooming with anyone and that's just the way um, I like to prepare going into a game, but yourself, did you have your own room or did you share a room with someone when you were over in Adelaide? Uh, I shared with Fifey actually, so uh, yeah, he was a pretty, pretty relaxed room. Probably one of the better blokes to share a room yeah, with. Yeah, he was. Uh, <laughs> he's a bit uh, <coughs> less odour than old Clancy Pierce, but uh, <laughs> yeah, no, he was, he was, he was good. We, we got on really well. and. Um, yeah, got a, got a little bit off him as well. Yeah, no, fantastic. Knowledge. I guess the traditional thing is that mum and dad usually get to come to whatever um, or wherever the game's going to be and did they come along to Adelaide? They did, yeah. The club were really good in, um, in flying them both over to, um, to Adelaide to the game. Also my brother and, and girlfriend came over as well, which is, which is great to have them all there in, in the rooms after the game to enjoy it with them. So yeah, I was, I was thrilled for them to all come over. It's only probably been a short time here so far um, and I guess you could probably also relate this to anyone else that you um, have used as mentors but who have you learnt the most from um, you know, in your whole life um, and then probably also a short term here at, uh, at Fremantle? Uh, yeah obviously <clears throat> prior to coming to Fremantle I had a, had a couple of guys that probably were really good for me in terms of when I started at Waffle level I was sort of dealing with the ups and downs a little bit and like Nathan Ryan who was a player player for, uh, for my, at the start of my career at Perth. Um, he was really good as a mentor for me and then towards the end uh, a guy called Neil Allen. He was, yep. he was a guy at the club who, who yeah, had a lot of chats with and stuff so he was, they were really good um, sort of getting to this stage and then as I've been here I've had um, I suppose Paul Duffield's been really good at the start just, just bouncing knowledge off him and um, yeah just easing me into the program. So. I guess what's your thought process on the differences between the Waffle and the AFL? I uh, probably, probably found out the real difference on the weekend was um, just the just St Kilda how they, they pressed up and you didn't have you didn't really have any time to uh, you know to make many decisions so it was your first option was the one to hit so um, yeah the pressure of the game the, the speed um, transition was was pretty pretty intense on the weekend um, and I guess obviously with training and stuff, the workload and, and the time the time you've sort of got to put into it to get something out of it is the, the real difference. Um, yeah. Can you give us a little bit of an insight um, on your cultural background and where you're from or um, yeah, and where your mum and dad originated from? Yep, uh, I, was, I was actually born over in Melbourne, so I came over here when I was uh, nine and um, my dad's, my dad's uh, African, he's from Zimbabwe, so he was... Uh, Grew up there to I think his early 20s and then he came over and met my mum in Melbourne and um, she's, she's actually from Perth so it's a bit of a, bit of a different one but um, yeah I'm, I've never actually been to Zimbabwe, it's something I'd love, love to do one day and yep. go and, and see it. But yeah, that's... Now before being drafted, um, what were you doing you know, from a study in perspective? I've um, done a little bit of research yeah, here yeah. and um, you were studying sports science yep. uh, and possibly looking to go into um, a teaching role yep. and where and what age group were you sort of looking to um, start at or teach or um, possibly high school kids or um, uh, year sevens, year twelves, where were you sort of looking to head there? Uh, it's probably it's probably looking towards high school like sort of yeah I'll look into high school teaching it um, sort of just I've always sort of thought that I want to teach people who want to um, so I can impart some knowledge, I guess, onto yep. them. Um, yep. Whereas I 
I mean, I might be wrong, but primary school is more about just getting them to play, participate. So I'd probably yeah. like to just teach them a little bit. But um, yeah, I was really lucky to, to sort of finish my degree um, prior to coming here. So. Which is, which is pretty good, so something to fall back on. After. Yeah. Um, now, I've also just recently found out um, <laughs> that <laughs> the Gold Coast were actually going to um, pick you up um, before you were then traded and ended up at Fremantle. Did you ever think or um, did it come across your mind about the relocating um, aspect and possibly living in the Gold Coast? Uh, not really, Smoke, to be honest. Uh, I found out probably only a few days before that that was even a a possibility so um, found out that Gold Coast were, were pre-listing me and then trying to trying to work on a trade so there's I think there's a few clubs that were that potentially I could have gone to around around Australia so um, Fremantle was the little club I really wanted to go to so um, yeah I was really happy to, to wind up here. You've just signed another one year contract uh, which is fantastic based on you've already got a one year deal with us um, and the the club, I guess, has shown a lot of faith um, in yourself, given that you've played two games. Um, but it, it's not so much just the fact that you played two games, even from observing the way you went about your business in pre-season, the way you train. Um, you're really dedicated, professional, and then going through a bit of, a, not what you really wanted to go through, an injury, but to see you handle that. And, um, you know, it was a real testament to your characters as well. So. Not only obviously played two games, but a one-year contract extension. You only had one year, you didn't oh, have two. Years, two. Yeah. So I, I was, thought it might have been one or two. But yeah. so that's fantastic, yeah. mate. And um, you know, I, I'm sure you'll repay the uh, the club in in the way you go about your business. That's all it is for today um, on Inside Word. So thanks for uh, for being on here today. It was great to learn a little bit about yourself as well. Thank, Thank you, much, mate. Thanks for having me on. No